Hello everybody and welcome to Easy Medicine. For those of you who are new, my name is Carsten. I'm a fourth year medical student and on this channel I'm explaining all medicine and body related topics in an understandable way. And currently I'm having a lot of fun watching cells at work with you. First of all, I want to say I'm really, really sorry that I did not upload for such a long time, but I was really, really busy studying. Good news is that I can proudly say out of the seven exams I took, I already know that I passed six and I'm currently waiting for the results of the seventh exam, but I got a really good feeling about this. This leaves me with just four more exams to come in the next week, but I felt it was now a good time to sit down and finally record a new episode of Cells at Work especially because I just wanted to continue watching Cells at Work because it's just an awesome show. This brings me to the next thing. I want to say thank you for the positivity, for the good comments, for the good wishes. This really kept me going while I could not record and I had to study all day long. So thank you guys for being such a great community and for engaging in this video so much. And this brings me to the last point. If you're not already joined and subscribed to the channel, please go ahead only 12% of the people who are watching the videos are subscribed, which leaves 88% of you not subscribed right now. So go ahead and join this community of positivity and of growing. And now let's get into cells at work. So from the name of the episode, I'm guessing this is the pollen arriving. Um, of course, it's not really meteor crushing in and meteor going hand in hand with instant destruction. This is not the case with the pollen, but we will get later to this, I think. I love how they display the mucous membrane just like this ocean floating around. This is the concept of the mucous membrane because as it is wet, it's sticky and so a lot of things that get in the upper respiratory tract, so nose, there's a mucous membrane and so they get stuck there and do not get to the lower respiratory tract, so your lungs. Okay, they're going no a long way already, but the body already said, oh no, not this year again. So allergies reoccur a lot of times and there needs to be a trigger for an allergy to be induced. So in this kind, the trigger is the pollen. Our body overreacts and this causes a lot of problems. I think we're gonna see a lot of them and I think I'm explaining them better when we get to the point. <laughs> <laughs> I want to emphasize on the fact this thing is not looking scary. If you remember the Pumococcus and Staphylococcus aureus, they were some scary looking pathogens. But this thing is not looking scary at all. It's just a big teddy bear, basically. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, 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 now we finally get to see the phagocytosis. I've been talking about this for episodes and episodes, but again to repeat it, phagocytosis is a mechanism where white blood cells engulf a pathogen, swallow it in whole, and then represent on the surface what is going on, what they just swallowed, so others can keep a lookout and see what's going on, what's currently invading our body. <laughs> This is a very important point. Allergen is just a definition of something that is foreign and our body can recognize it. But this is not bacteria or virus, this is not a really pathogen, this is just antigen presenting something that is like pollen. 
it's a living thing of course but it's not causing any illness it's not replicating and the problem with allergies comes from our body so it's an autoimmune problem basically this pollen is totally harmless and i think they represented that quite good <laughs> Okay, I feel now it's a good time to talk a little bit more in detail about allergies in general. So, once upon a time, this is a legend he's talking about, he has been activated. There was some pollen in the eye and our body recognized it and produced memory cells. So if they invade the body once more, our body is prepared. This is in general a super good mechanism. This is the adaptive immune system. We talked a lot about it in the virus episode. If you've not watched it, go ahead and get a general overlook about the system. So now the memory T cell is recognizing the problem again. And this is the problem. There is no problem. You get it? No, it's complicated, I know. <laughs> the antigen they recognize and they remember is not dangerous at all but nevertheless they start the immune response they start to proliferate and produce effector cells against these cells and this memory t cell is frightened by the sight of the pollen and this is the problem in allergies there is no real danger yet our immune system responds and starting an immune response and this is causing the damage that we know of allergies and so let's see what's going on <笑>宇宙より災いの流星、白い摂取時、山は怒り、大地は荒ぶり、海は蠢く。ど、どういう意味ですか？つまり大噴火、地殻変動、大洪水が一気に起こる、未曾有の大災害に見舞われるんだ
So these antibodies can be measured in people who have an allergy and you can say, okay, this is a problem and this causes your allergy because you are hypersecreting IgE antibodies. <laughs> So again, this is the perfect representation of those allergies and hypersensitivity reactions that's going on. Your immune system is going crazy about something that is not that bad after all. So, and here we go on. The problem could have been prevented if there was not that high IgE secretion. But IgE is also a mediator of inflammation. IgE activates the mast cell and the mast cell degranulates, releasing histamine and mediating more inflammation than it is necessary. So now our body is going full mode, full inflammation mode and calling all the big guns, everybody. There's vasodilation happening, there's blood flow increased to that area causing the redness and the, the itchiness in your eyes that might happen. Or for example in allergic rhinitis, which is the term if you got it more in the respiratory tract than in your eyes, there's just exudate and transudate flowing from your nose, your nose is not stopping from flowing. This is just what is happening and this is due to the IgE. So it could have been prevented if there was not that high IgE secretion. I'm not sure if you remember from the last episode, but there was also histamine secreted, but just like in, a, in this fire extinguishing rope uh, pipe that is going through all buildings and you can see um, that this is just to extinguish fire in, in the rooms. This is like the, the ants breaking the dam in Isengard and flooding it all. This is far too much histamine causing this hypersensitivity reaction that we know as allergy. <laughs> <laughs> so it's getting worse and worse and this is the problem if you cannot get out of the stimulus so if you're sitting on grass for example and someone here hypersensitivity maybe you have to stand up go a little bit to the side, wear sunglasses so the, uh, the pollen cannot as easily enter your eyes as they might without. So you increase the dosage of allergens entering your body so the, um, the hypersensitivity reaction is not that bad. <laughs> This is super, super dangerous now. This might cause an anaphylactic shock. I know, super weird word. But what that means is that too much histamine is secreted and the histamine is causing the dilation of the blood vessels. If there is too much histamine secreted, it spreads all over the body. And now all the blood vessels dilate, this causing a volumic shock because all the pipes, all your arteries and vessels are dilated, able to hold more blood. So the blood is not, there's simply not enough blood to fill all of these vessels. Uh, volume is going down and this causing the hypovolemic shock or the anaphylactic shock in that case, which is just a different kind of hypovolemic shock. So the problem is right now, your blood vessels do not have enough pressure, your blood pressure drops, which causing you to faint and in really, really severe scenarios, this might also lead to death. So 
We already know the sneeze missiles from the first episode and this is a quite a convenient way for our body to get rid of that high exposure of antigens or pollen that have made have invaded the nose and just got stuck in the mucous membrane so you get rid of it so it cannot enter the body anymore. <laughs> This congestion might also not also happen in the nose, but also in your throat. There might be people who are a little jerk in them peanuts, for example, if they eat peanuts, their throat starts swelling. And this is a really dangerous situation because they might suffocate as the throat is so much swelling that it's getting shut down and you cannot breathe anymore. Very dangerous and we treat that in general with epinephrine. <laughs> this is the next mechanism. If you got the pollen in your eyes, you can increase the flow of tear fluid and flush them out. Makes perfect sense. <laughs> This is the big, big problem. There's nothing wrong with your body if you have an allergy. Just the wrong stimulus is inducing a hypersensitivity reaction. Okay? There's no problem. Your body is designed to react like this. And in a lot of cases, this makes perfect sense if there is a dangerous pathogen. But as there is no dangerous pathogen, yet your body responds. We have a lot of problems that we do not want. What's happening? Oh, so now we get to the point where we talk about treatment and prevention and things we can do because of course we can do something. Um, there are two options now what's in this medical container that is brought here by the blood. Option number one, it's an antihistaminicum. So this antihistaminicum binds to the receptors of histamine and blocks them. So there can no vasodilation happen and not everything is going downhill. Other option are corticosteroids. Corticosteroids inhibit the blood cells in the reaction. So there's no degranulation happening in the first place. There's a reduced amount of IgE antibodies because B cells are inhibited. And so everything is getting better because the stimulus which induces this and keeps it going is reduced and is vanished. So let's... <laughs> it already i think the bottom line of this episode is that allergic reactions are just the wrong amount of reaction to a non-dangerous stimulus but our immune system is made for this so all the reactions are absolutely physiological but the stimulus causing the pathologic reaction that is happening i hope that you guys enjoyed watching and i will see you in the next one bye bye